So I'm going to be teaching you how you can install um, a banking script, maybe um, a financial, like what you call banking script and the rest. So I'm going to teach you how you can install both the front end and the back end. So um, first of all, I've, I've uploaded my back end script. So I'm going to go ahead and upload my front end script. So, all right, so um, I've uploaded my front end and my back end, my banking front end and my back end. So I'm just going to unzip my front end. I'm going to delete this zip file. Then I'm going to create another folder called um, dashboard. So the dashboard will now be my, um, my back end where my user um, login, registration, and admin backend will be. So first of all, let's check how our front end looks like. Um, we've got our front end. This is our front end. And so the next thing, we want to link our customer login. Wherever we see customer login. So once they click the login, it should, it should take them to where? Our dashboard. So once they click the login, it should take them to Omatech Digital slash Modgate slash dashboard. So where they can easily log in or they can easily register and admin can also access so this is the front end of the banking site as you can see it is clean and it is unique so what we are going to do here we are going to link our login page our apply so let's go and extract the files so this is the back end script for the bank so i'm, I'm just going to extract it um so um if you get this script from us i have included the the um step-by-step -step guide on how you can you know um, follow suits and follow up so uh, I'm just going to bring everything just going to highlight it and move them move it back to dashboard then I'm going to delete the user uh, I think it's user here oh, okay let's check users okay it's user so I'll just delete this user I don't need it I don't need this anymore. So right now, um, the next thing we are going to do, we are going to link, create our database and link it. So if you check database here, you see the SQL file here, you see the two SQL files. So you can use either of the two. You understand? So you can use either of the two. So uh, we're just going to go to our cPanel, then come to our admin and create a database. Now, um, for the record, um, you need to know where and where you need to, you know, make changes to your um, database. So if you check um, documentation here, yeah, we have everything, the step-by-step -step way, you know, for you to um, change um, the admin um, database, the user database and the rest. So first of all, um, if you come to include, you need to change your config this config you need to change your config so once you click um config.php and once it is open so this is where we we'll put our db username and our db password which is this place our db username our db password so this is where we are going to connect it and um in this place we are going to connect our you um our email address and um our site url because the site sends OTP. So we need an email address to connect. But first of all, let's create our database. So uh, I'm just going to call this mod gate and I'll click next. Then I'm just going to copy this and um, I'll copy, I'll come to config, uh, which is database username. So I'm going to use it for both database username and um, the database name. So I'm going to go back and do the same thing mod gauge and i'm going to auto generate password and i'll click our official state then i'll create user i'll come back here and i'll replace this password with the one i just did and um um my email address i have to create an email address but i'll i'll, I'll use the one i'm using before on my tech now, um, the web URL was your web URL. So my web URL, URL will now be on my tech, digital.com slash mod gauge slash dashboard. Remember, it's my back end. So 
my back end is my dashboard so once you make sure everything is correct you make sure everything is correct here so once you are done with this you, you need to change the title of the website this way you you change the title of the website so maybe i'll just call it mortgage mortgage um let's say organization so you know what to give your own so this is a demo i'm just testing then i'm going to hit the save button so i've done step one now step two is for you to come and add all privileges to your database you click on changes now the next step we are going to do we are going to upload our database file we are going to upload our database file so we scroll down to our php my admin scroll down to php my admin then once you scroll down to php my admin you are going to locate um your database which you created and we are going to upload our database so if you come to this place if you go back then um we need to download our database so that we can upload it to our server so let's allow it to load then if you come to database here you see the database so you can choose like i said you can choose anyone you can choose any of the database here so let me just um download this i'll just download this like i said if you have um if you've gotten this script from us we'll give you the setup and the step-by-step -step way the guidance so um we just look for okay mortgage here then um click on import click on import and we are going to choose that file we downloaded we'll go to download and this so once we're done you come and click on import then we are done so if i click here now i'll see all my file then from here i'll see my admin login so this is my admin login so you can change your you know your url or your admin email and the rest like that so um the next thing is for us to go and configure other thing all right um the next step is for us to activate our smtp so um from the we are going to activate both the user and the admin of or let's change our our smtp from the user so you you search this include locate this include and search for user class.php so edit it we are going to make changes to some functions and some line you understand so that our our you know smtp will be working perfectly so you just follow me correctly you just do everything i do here yeah. so we we'll scroll down scroll down to where we'll see smtp because we need to change everything so now first of all this is our mailer this is our email configuration so um the host name what is your host name your host name like i said is your domain so omatechdigitas.com then what is your email address so this place will carry your email address uh support at this then um, what is your password so you need to use your password so you put your password there then um your port smtp port is always 465 then email from where so you are going to repeat your email address here email from this place um that is your support support at then the name that will appear um i'll call it mod gauge organization then you do the same thing here support at this then um mod gauge organization so you are going to do the same thing here so once you are done you are going to hit the save so we we are done with um we are done with um the user so let's go to the admin so we save then for you to go to the admin so you just go up here and you locate admin then include then you look for admin class.php because we are repeating the same thing on admin class.php you just scroll down this is the admin mailer so if you want your admin to be receive uh, to be sending mail and the rest like that so this way you make changes to it you understand so you repeat the same thing here you repeat the same thing here um your host your host will be um mail 
dot mail dot your domain name dot I'm just going to repeat the same thing here. So we are good to go. So that's all. You leave the rest like that and we are good. So once you are done, you save. Let's go and check our front end again. So now from our front end, we need to link um, our login page to our back end URL. We need to link our login header. So I'm just going to my front end panel. Uh, let's go to my front end script. This is it. Uh, I'll locate my index.html. So I need to make changes to my back end. So I'll just come here and I'll locate my index for my login. Okay, this is it. Customer login. So this is it. Uh, so I'm, I'm just going to change it here. So I'm just going to change it. So it will now be this slash dash board. So that if someone hit the customer login, if someone hit this custom login, it should take person to the dashboard. So we need to change for this login also. So if you are using my, my front end or you are using my script, and if you watch this tutorial, everything will be easy for you. So let's locate that login here. And um, we're going to make changes to it also. Okay, this is the login. And um, we just do it like this. A dash part. So, okay, let's just save that. And um, so let's refresh our front end. And let's try and connect and link to our dashboard. So if you hover it, you see that um, everything will change if you hover. So um, once you just click it, it's supposed to take you to your dashboard. Once you just click it, it's supposed to take you to your dashboard. If you connect, um, if you if you do the right connection, it will take you to your dashboard immediately. But if you didn't do the right connection, I'm sorry, it's going to bounce you back. Yeah, it's going to bounce you back. So it's better you do the right connection. So once we are done, it's supposed to take us to this place, dashboard, and it will take us to um, our user login. Our script is connected successfully. So this is our front end. This is our front end and um, no, this is our back end. So now when you click login, it takes you to the back end login page where you can log in. So um, I'm just going to create an account and show you how everything works. So now how this system works, it is only admin that can create an account. But so uh, from the user and you can create an account. If you see account here, you can click on sign up. So once you sign up, it is only admin that can approve your account. It is not automated. It is um, manually approved. So you can fill everything. Then after filling, admin can, you know, approve it for you. So if you already have an account, this is where you log into the account. That's where you log into the account. So I'm just going to go back and I'm going to check my database. If I have any um, account that is available, if I remember the password, all right, um, so I just logged in and um, there is a passcode and the passcode is one, two, three, and four. So once you you get the right passcode, uh, passcode, then you log into your dashboard successfully. So now this is the admin dashboard. These are the admin dashboard works. So we have deposit funds, we have mobile payment, we have wire transfer and the rest. So how this system work here? Yeah? Now, when you do a mobile payment or mobile transfer, it sends an OTP to your email address and you impute an OTP and once it is successful, it works. Now, why wire transfer? Wire transfer has two aspects. First of all, if you initiate it, it will send an OTP to your email address. They immediately send an OTP to your email address and you initiate it. Upon successful, it's going to ask you for another um, 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 OTP called PTN. So you can make changes to the PTN or you can change the name. So that PTN can only be gotten uh, from admin. So it is only admin that can you know make changes to the PTN or it is only admin that can generate the PTN. So everything works, the system works, everything works fine. And um, so this is the user dashboard. So I'm just going to log into the admin dashboard and show you how the admin dashboard works. All right, so this is my admin dashboard. So I'm just going to log in to my admin dashboard support at omatechdigitals.com. So this is the admin dashboard. And um, 
when if you want to create a user you see create new user you see credit user you see all user so if you click on all user here so this is where all your users appear you can easily view them so this is your user you can easily view them then you can you can decide to ban user you can decide to hold the account you can change your pin and everything like that so that's how the user then you can decide to create a new user so this is where you create a new user then once you create a new user this is where you set the account pin you understand so then you can decide to credit a user account so this is where you create a user account you select the user by the username then from you know the name of the organization amount description and one thing about this script is you can backdate your payment and the time you can backdate your payment and the time then this is all your transaction these are your transaction, your mobile transfer, your wire transfer, and the rest. So any transfer that goes on, everything will appear here. So you can easily, you know, approve or you can decline. And you can change everything. So this is how it works. So now I made measure of PTN. So this is a PTN. PTN. So it is only admin that can generate it. So immediately you generate it. The next thing is for you to mail your customer using from mail. Then you send it to them. So you can either accept or hold or decline or delete transaction. So um, this is how um, the online banking site works. And um, I hope you found value to this video. If you found value to this video, please, I want you to smash the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so that if you release another video, you'll be the first person to see it. Like I said, if you need this online banking script or site, um, I just you can um, just send me a message on WhatsApp or email address and we'll reply you immediately.